All right, this is HRM, this is St. Augustine Deb Buenaparte, presidential candidate for 2012, and emperor of the United States of Turtle Island, which used to be, according to my symbolic overthrow in 1996 of October, I renamed the United States of America the United States of Turtle Island. Uh, there's more than 300 videos. You can go look at all of them to find out what I mean by all of this. Um, the government has spied on me to get ideas off of me. And this is why I'm still alive. Uh, but being ham hampered, being hammered on, being interfered with, in, they've been impeding my life. They have murdered dozens of years out of my life. And the reason this has happened is because, um, many different reasons, but one of them because they can't control me. I tried to show you a minute ago a bunch of things about uh, the conspiracies and the people behind them and I was interfered in the video somebody blocked it first I made a mistake and I pressed the button while the arrow was on stop recording and then I lost that part which was, which was only about five minutes and then uh, it happened again but this time it wasn't me so <coughs> there's uh, 78 pages here or excuse me seven yeah so uh, 77 pages here of um, you know addicted to war which is on YouTube you know this particular thing why the military can't kick its militarism there's old man Herbert Walker George Bush the first Bush that was president who was also CIA director um, this is the back of the book showing Bush on top of a tank you know going forward with all the missiles of war the destructive acts of war now if you want to see the book, which is uh, the DVD by Frank Dorrell uh, called What I Learned About U.S. Foreign Policy, uh, Elizabeth Montgomery, who used to do the TV series show Bewitched, is one of the narrators in this, sh in this thing. And uh, also, um, uh, uh, um, Another guy is in there that, uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm very stressed out. When this happens to me, I just can't believe that it is happening to me. I can't believe that the government wants me to continue. It's just tor torturing me. It's making me suffer. And these are the federal feds that are doing this. And they do it at a distance. They do it by remote control. And they sometimes use the local authorities to add, to put on the heat, put on the pressure on people like me. But um, Chris Christopherson also is in the DVD, and uh, <coughs> this is the address of uh, Frank Durrell, where you can order the uh, DVD, and it is uh, area code 310-838-8131, if that's a still number, and it's P.O. Box 3261, uh, Culver City, California, 90231. Um, you know, you can donate stuff, but it, it's 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 a DVD that you must. It's a must see before you go to any election, because you should know about the history, about your country, about how it, this bully, United States of America, has pushed people around all the way back to before Vietnam, and uh, and it's not funny because tons and tons of people died, uh, their DNA wiped out like genocide. And uh, here they are waging this war against me, the secret, quiet, invisible war against me. Um, you got this jerk here, Brad Sherman, in the local thing. He's, he's, he's trying to use his little thing, so standing up to Wall Street, like he's trying to use the 99 percenter argument to, you know, to get people's attention. You know, that's no different than me uh, saying racial slurs and doing all the stuff I've done on YouTube to try to get attention, so that maybe these main candidates will answer me, or maybe the mainstream media will say, "Hey, look, we're sorry this happened to you. Your civil rights are violated. The federal government doesn't want to do any." investigation. They, they, they'll investigate Rodney King. They'll investigate all this stuff. And this is why I sound the way I sound. I'm under all of this pressure and nobody wants to help. You tell me what's wrong. You tell me if they're not controlling my life. They could even be, maybe somebody has tried to contact me and they would actually physically have to come to Canoga Park and drive around for days at a time looking for me to 
to physically walk up to me and go, hey, my name is John Doe. I have lots of money. I heard some of your videos, but I've tried to contact you, and I'm wondering why you didn't answer me. And the government has the power to do that. They have the power to keep me exactly where I'm at, to block me from any kind of help that has come to me in the past. They have that power. And so what is this person that's like trying to get a hold of me? Uh, they count on the fact that these people are too busy to go out and look for somebody physically and, and try to help them. This is what has happened to me. It's either that that's happening or people really don't care. And the government knows this and so they have the advantage. They have 100% advantage of seeing me die slowly like I'm on death row and uh, I don't know. So I, I, I changed my titles on my <coughs> YouTube. I said Ambassador Stevens deserved to die. So did the people in the Aurora Theater. Because I'm the person who could have stopped all of that. Those attacks against the embassies would never have happened if you people had listened to me starting in 2000. If I'd gotten equal media attention. In 2008, did you know... 2004, excuse me, did you know that I won four alternative presidential debates against four different candidates in the Kansas City, Missouri area on an FM station? I got more than 90% of the drivers that are rush hour traffic, <coughs> which the radio station claimed as much as a million people going back and forth, half a million people going back and forth to work every day and uh, that they listened to the radio station and these debates were on there at the same time that Kerry and Bush were debating and I got, they asked the people to vote who, thought, who they thought won the debate I got more than 90%, 95% of the vote and this didn't make the, the mainstream media by the way and, oh, that's not all okay, I won all four debates now what do you do with a man like that who also predicted 9-11 seven years before it happened provided 20 pages of transcripts to the uh, to the investigative uh, terrorist uh, uh, panel that were back in 2008 and one reporter asked them, hey what about these 20 documents that this guy sent you and the, the answer from the panel was, oh the anti-terrorist panel, whoever they were, whatever they called them they said, uh, they said, oh, those papers were looked at, but they were unsubstantiated. Yeah, unsubstantiated because half of the paperwork was top secret, labeled top secret by the federal government, and then stuck in top secret files, which makes it illegal for anybody to publish that in any newspaper anywhere. So there is propaganda here. There is suppression of the truth. There is suppression to keep certain candidates from ever getting any attention, because as soon as I get attention, Congress, the Senate, even the Supreme Court's going to be pissing in their pants, literally. Because for once, you've got a leader that's going to come down on everybody. Lawyers, judges, cops, from federal all the way down to local. And from the way I've been treated, now they have, they're have they motivated even more to move mountains to make sure that the media is never going to hear about me that they're never going to publish anything on a nationwide scale. Look what happened yesterday. This is what people concentrate on. The word naked, nude, uh, sex. If I title that in front of my videos and say there's sexy, nude, dead pictures of people, I got 132 views on the one titled Naked Chris Stevens, Ambassador Chris Stevens, and Dead Pictures, webcam, September 13, 2012. I got 132 views between yesterday and today. That's never happened at all. And then I got 71 views on part two, titled the same way. <clears throat> um, and then I put raw sex, naked sex. I mean, uh, uh, nude models. And then I put Chris Stevens, you know, dying, you know, last dying breath day, you know. And, and uh, I mean, I'm not the only one who's done that. Remember the guy, what's his name, who, who uh, was from Australia, who died from a stingray attack? I forget his name. And one time it says, would you like to see, it was titled that way on YouTube, would you like to see him die? You know, like they were filming underwater and they saw the stingray sting him in the chest. And of course, you go into the YouTube thing to look at it, and it's got millions of views, and it says, do you really think we'd show you him dying? 
and there were it was like to insult you to show you there say I'm not the only one doing it to show you that that's really all you care about seeing blood and gore voting for these morons that are that are in the mainstream media backing and supporting the main media by watching their stupid ABC, CBS, NBC, CNN, all of them. It doesn't even Al Jazeera. I sent press releases in the last presidential election by the tons to Al Jazeera, to KPFK, Pacific Radio. I sent tons of press releases. Nobody answered. And you know what that means? I'm being blocked. And I'm being blocked by people who claim that they're fighting the same government that is is harassing me and suppressing me. Oh yeah, trust me, that's what's going on. And I'm surprised that this is even on at 10 minutes. I'm surprised that the government is going, hey, you know, uh, we're going to have, you know, I'm sure that they've had this conversation and this is the government's conversation behind closed doors. Sooner or later, we're going to have to admit that Caesar's rights are vi have been violated continually and they're still being violated to the very same day of this recording and we're not lifting a finger to do anything to help him. As a matter of fact, if the, go if the people in the United States ever find out that we suppressed are the rich people that tried to contact him to help him, anybody that tried to help me, that we blocked their efforts to try and contact him to help him, you know what they're going to think of us? Oh my God! We better make sure we've already tipped our we've already tipped our hand with with Caesar. We can't ever allow him. And if it takes killing him at some point, assassinating him on some street in Canoga Park, then we're going to have to do that if it gets too hot. All that because what? Because I talk about the fact that you people kill children with your tax dollars. Because I'm talking about the right things. Because I'm talking the same way Gandhi did. Because anytime I say anything that's really crude and ugly, it's because I'm doing it because that's the only thing that the media pays attention to, even the tiniest bit. And people see that kind of logic and they go, they sit and wonder, go, wow, why is this guy being suppressed? What are you so scared of? The secret invisible war the government's been waging for years against every citizen. The war that the banks have been privy to. They've all, they're all the big people, all the big money, they're all in war against you. Don't believe me. Let's show you before the run out of time. Council on Foreign Relations, influencing American government. This isn't influencing. This is this old, dirty, dirty old man, Rockefeller, buying the government. That's why they blew his brains out. Okay? Shot by the Bilderberg people. I have here some pictures that you'll really be interested in. You'll like these pictures because they are exemplary of what kind of government you really have. This is the kind of leaders you have. Clinton with Nazi symbols on his eyes and his mouth, his nose, 666 on his forehead. Because that's all they are. That's all that comes out of their mouths. No matter how suave they talk, how smooth their speeches are, they are all Nazi sympathizers. They're, you are a Nazi sympathizer if you don't adopt my plan, my plan, to stop this killing, death, and destruction, and all of that. That's why I say the stuff that's supposed to shock people. How can I be healthy when my house was burnt when here's a book, bottom line, Super Healing Unlimited. And these are 739 remarkable secrets from the world's greatest health experts. How to, how to live longer, how to be healthy. But every, look how thick this book is. Almost two inches. Every suggestion in here requires that you have a stable place to live and a stable place for your kitchen, a stable place for your amino acid supplementation, a stable place for you to be able to get up every day and contribute to this lousy society to keep yourself healthy, and yet they're sitting there kicking people out on the street with this Miss Harris over here who got $16 billion in the bank. She's in the news. She doesn't talk a thing about retroactive pay for people who've already lost their houses. You're missing all that, aren't you? Are you getting the picture here? So, yeah. Clinton, Obama, they're nothing but Nazis. Okay? And so is every congressman, senator. Here's the devil. Here's the real devil, the one who spawned all this. Old man Rockefeller, the devil himself, 666. 
The love of money, the worship of money is the root of all evil. The excessive worship of money because the name of God is on it and you take that same money, commit blasphemy, elect these people into office and then pay 75% of those dollars to kill innocent men, women, and children in Iraq and Afghanistan. Here's the picture. And I use that as one of my political things. God blast America. Here I am. Susan Augustine for President, 2012. Also Reality Supreme Being on YouTube. All my rants and raves. And my videos have been hacked before. And I showed this picture yesterday. Here's three children. I don't know if you can see this picture, if I can hold it steady. Three children are in one coffin. And the man is standing there going, oh my God, my children are dead. Friendly fire. Am I smiling? I'm smiling at the fact that I cannot believe it would be really, really funny that I cannot believe that for decades you people are electing these jerk-off morons from the federal, state, and local level and you're allowing them to vomit on you every day simply because you cannot paint yourself out of the corner you've painted yourself into. You did it to yourself. You do it when you put your money in the bank. I told you, before the election, take your money out of the bank, stop buying so much gasoline, fight back, boycott the gas stations, the media, the lousy banks. All this government will be on their knees. They won't be able to call. They don't have an army big enough to deal with 50 United States of America, 50 states. They don't have a big enough army. Everybody takes their money out. The only, the only connection they have to everybody is the internet and TV. And then the media would have to get on their knees too saying, please come back. You would be in control of your country again. Of course, you'd have to have a spokesman Unfortunately, I'm the best thing that there is to any kind of spokesman because I've put this all together for you. So let me read you this. <clears throat> and I think I've got time to do this. I read this already, November 3rd, 2008. The people of the United States and the whole world has missed out again to make the highest jump in human evolutionary thinking, to advance our species to a more beneficial universal level. And who do, and who do we have to thank for this? I will list them for you. All the people who have done us damage. All taxpayers. Two, overpriced lawyers. Three, uneducated voters. Four, judges. All judges. Five, eyesore fanatics. Six, the state of California. Seven, the county and city of Los Angeles. Eight, the LAPD and all vicious cycle law enforcers. Nine, all religious beliefs not backed by hard, cold evidence and proof of the existence of any kind of God. Ten, the mainstream media. Eleven, People who block simple solutions to the world's problems, like the federal government. Twelve, political parties who are secretly evil and have a monopoly on those who get enough attention to get elected by the fifth grade mentality of the United States of America. Thirteen, the Bilderberg trilateral influence. And the list is too long to keep track of and not enough people care about the advance warnings until the problem is at their doorstep. Doorsteps. Political Einsteins like myself are disappearing to the radioactive background with all the secrets of super successful administrations of the future which would have made the world a safer place. There will never be a unanimous political uprising in America. What a shame all you people don't want to unanimously write me in to vote me in as absolute dictator of your country. What a shame the internet can't be used for a real revolution to a quicker and better government. But I do know this. The ongoing damages that have been done to me were done by people that can never see, see or feel the truth. For me to remain an extremely unhappy, pr unhappy prisoner of this planet and this country, its violent production is wrong. If only they would have left me alone, I could have changed things for the better side of existence and outlawed the stuff like evil forces that have a stranglehold on all of you and me. Whether you agree with me or not, enjoy the invisible cages you all live in. Sincerely yours, the only true emperor and president of the United States since 1996, HRM Caesar St. Augustine de Buena Parte. All right, that's it, and I'm going to get off and see if I can do a part two.